people, if you don't mind, you ain't did much of that tonight. I want you to go wild. I want you to stand up on your feet if you don't mind. Come on, baby. Take the man. Put your hand together for ECW, WWE, Champion Rocker, New Jack. Oh. 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 He put all the kids that couldn't come in and paint. He let them come in. He put on a great show. All the other wrestlers that come up there, all up under his wing. This man went and spent his money and put on everything. And this, he's a humanitarian. And the Cincinnati United Local Artists Network give you your flowers. Don't tell me you don't want no flowers. I'm not putting them on your grave. I'm putting them in your hand. New Jack, show some love. <laughs> there you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now we get the permanent flowers. Speak <laughs> to your flowers. You know it. You know it. You know it. I'm not from Cincinnati. I don't live in Cincinnati. I came to Cincinnati last year. I've been on the road for a long time. I decided to come here. I chill for a little bit. I start running these shows up on Warsaw, and it's a lot of little kids. Because see, this could be like a real X-rated version, and I could get like really, really nasty up here. But respect me, and I respect you. I, I appreciate it. And, and Dallas, you could have said something and said my name, but you didn't. But that's alright. I'm gonna still listen to your CD. <laughs> And I got 15s in my car and a big amp, and I'm gonna play that country shit loud. <laughs> I came down to Cincinnati, or up to Cincinnati, or whatever. I had my little gym up on Warsaw, and all these little kids run around, and they ain't had nothing to do. All right, and I've been on, I've been on TV for years. I decided, I said, well, I'll come up there and do my thing, and I'll invite them, and I will like give away all the tickets sell a DVD and let them come in and have something to do on Saturday night other than just hanging out on the corner. Keith came to one of my shows and he said, Jack, you letting everybody in free? I said, yeah, ain't no money out of my pocket other than playing the light bill. So what's the problem? And with that, he decided I get a humanitarian award. Well, if that's been a new word, humanitarian, then I guess that would be me, huh? Being on TV, doing pay-per-views, the tickets are like a lot of money. A lot of people can't afford it. So I will come out of pocket and just give it away so they can see that, you know, I bleed red. And I'm just, I ain't just like y'all. I'm really like not just like y'all. But it ain't no problem to me to do something to give to somebody that don't have nothing. And I don't lose no sleep over it. Okay. I didn't come from that kind of family, and trust me, this is not a soft story. Please believe that. I did not come from a family that had holidays together, and your mom invited you over, and everybody got together, and we held hands, and we said a prayer, and we gave thanks to God for Thanksgiving or Christmas. My family wasn't like that. My family was a bit, how do you say, uh, retarded. We didn't have that unity, so you know, I was one of those that grew up on my own. 
I was one out of five, I played by myself. And I was like, when I do grow up, I don't want to be like a part of that. I don't want to be known as somebody that didn't do nothing for nobody that couldn't afford to do something for themselves. So it wasn't no sweat off of me. So when I came here, I did what I did. When I came here, I was like, let me do something for Cincinnati while I'm here. That's what I did. That's why I'm up to get this. And keep our thank you. And I thank Cincinnati. I thank the city of Cincinnati, and I thank everybody that accepted me being here, including the police who used to pull me over every time they saw me drive down the damn street. Oh, look! A nigga in a Mercedes without a state tag. Pull him over. No drugs in the car. Sorry, wrong one. I don't do that. I do what I do. A lot of people don't like what I do. A lot of people don't like me. I don't care. There is no gray, there is no gray area with me. It's either black or white. I went on Nancy Grace, she said, we're gonna put you on this show, but we're gonna pre-tape you because you've been on the curse a lot. She said, I Googled you and I saw you doing some interviews and you cursed a whole lot. And I talked to Keith, he said, Jack, do the show. Don't do a Richard Pryor routine. Or, or Terry Funk Banquet. And Keith, you gave me five minutes, but I'll tell that story. And before y'all start throwing shit at me, I'll, I'll tell that and then I'll leave. It was a retirement banquet with Terry Funk. For those of you that watch wrestling, years ago. So Terry Funk had a banquet, and they said, New Jack, will you go up and you speak in Terry Funk's behalf for three minutes and don't curse? Well, a fifth of vodka later, and probably like an eight ball of cocaine later, which I don't do anymore, so you know, don't look at me like, oh, he's a drug addict, because I'm sure some of y'all do shit when you leave here tonight, or you will say shit or curse or whatever, 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 so don't look at me like I'm like a bad guy because I'm not. It's real, okay? But I did it, and I was on his banquet, and I cursed, and I swore, and I was a complete nut for 30 minutes, Three minutes they gave me, 30 minutes later I was still up there and I was just going on and on and on and he said, Jack, please don't do that tonight. <laughs> so, I'm on heart medicine now. I'm not high, I swear to God. My son's driving. So if you see a green expedition going down the highway rocking, he driving. I ain't driving. I ain't on drugs. I'm just here to have a good time and to show you my loyalty to this guy. When he offered me this deal, I was living in Cincinnati and he reminded me three weeks ago to come up here to do this award and I said, Keith, I live in Jacksonville, Florida now. He said, well, I, I'm gonna do him. He said, he said, well, is you gonna be there or ain't you gonna be there? I said, Keith, that's a long way. He said, well, Jack, I already bought you the, the award and the plaque and the flowers. <laughs> you said, man, what? Hold on, hold on. Let me put some of the back in my, in, my, in my lip. But Jack, you said you going to be there. <laughs> so we get in the truck because he know I don't like flying, and I'm here. And I hope y'all accept me as I accept you. And if you don't, so what? Have a good time. Enjoy the rest of the night. I'm going to take my plaque home, put it on my wall, and I'm going to take this and put it on YouTube. And Dallas, I'm still going to play your damn DVD. Even though you didn't even mention me, I don't care. I like Hank Williams too, fucker.